we are now going to implement a search find and highlight functionality so you might have done this find and highlight at least once suppose we want to search for something on a web page we will get the find box i am using a mac so command f is the shortcut and suppose i enter jquery then what will happen it will highlight all the matches like this right you can see jquery here to jquery here 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 as well so we are going to implement a similar functionality using jquery for this i have already created a web page and added a text box with id search and also added a paragraph with some dummy content so what we plan to do is as we enter something inside this text box that text should be highlighted if it is present here so we are going to implement a find and highlight functionality using jquery let us first create a function and call that function on the key up event of the text box okay so first let me create a function function let me specify search highlight okay and what we need to pass to this function we should pass the text entered inside this text box so let me specify it as search text so this is the value entered inside this text box now we plan to do a case insensitive search that is if a person enters l even the capital and small letter else will be highlighted so we are planning to use a regular expression so let me specify where search expression equals i have to create a regular expression object reg exp then the text that should be searched is search text okay and as i want to go for a case insensitive search i'm specifying i as the modifier and i also want to highlight all the matches so i'm specifying g as well these are related with regular expressions actually i is used if we want to go for a case insensitive match and g is used if we want to search all the matches if we do not specify this g it will stop once the first match is found what we need to do next we need to find the matches so let me create a variable matches equals we are going to use the match method now the match method is used to search against a regular expression so we need to first get the content from this paragraph so p dot text will return the content so dollar p dot text this will return the content actually we can cache this because we will be using it a number of times so where content equals dollar p dot text next i am going to use the match method so content dot match what should we use we need to use the search expression because we need to find the matches within this content using this search expression now we can add this code within an if condition that is only if some search text is existing that is only if some value is entered inside the text box then only we should do all this so let me add an if condition if search text that is some value is entered by the user then only we need to do all this so let me cut it from here and paste it here next what will this matches return do you know it will return an array of all the matches so to show you let me add an alert just to show you what this matches variable contains and we need to call this function right so i'm going to call this function on the key up of this text box okay so let me call this dollar i have added an id search for this text box so hash search dot key up so as and when the value is changed this function will be executed then function and here we need to call the function okay so how will we call this we need to call this like search highlight and what value should be passed it should be the value entered inside the text box so dollar this will select the text box then dot val this will return the value inside the text box now let us see how it works 
refresh let me click l see it is returning an array of all the matches as we have specified i as the modifier it is selecting capital l as well as small letter l okay now if i specify l o it returns three los let's see this is one then here one and here also one so this is returning all the matches inside this variable this matches is actually an array next what we need to do we need to highlight all those matches right so we need to highlight only if matches is existing so what we can do is if matches which means if at least one match is there what we need to do we need to highlight the match so what we can do is we can add a class to the matching text so let me create a class here that is a css class style let me specify the class as highlight i'm specifying dot because it is a class then let me change the background color to yellow and also font weight to bold so that we will get an output as we have seen here see its background color is yellow and it is also displayed in bold it seems now what we are going to do is we will replace this content within this p element in such a way that all the matches will have a class name highlight okay so how we can do is that let me get the html of this paragraph because we are going to add a span for each match with a class name highlight dollar p dot html what i need to do i need to change the content so the content we have already cached it inside this content variable so content then i want to replace now what should be the parameters of this replace method the first one should be what we need to replace and the second parameter is the text with which we want to replace it so we want to replace each search expression that is here it will be search expression with what we are going to enclose each matching element within a span element and add a class name highlight to that okay so how we can do that this matches is an array of all the matching elements but actually we want one by one so what i'm going to do is function match and here let me write okay it is giving some error one bracket is missing i think now what i'm going to do is i want to return span with class highlight because i'm going to add the highlight class and here let me close the span opening and then match this will return each matching element then i also want to close the span i know it is a bit confusing i will explain it once again just after checking whether we are getting the output correctly or not let me enter l see all the l characters are highlighted o now all the o are highlighted r s see it is getting highlighted correctly let me now change i p see here i p is there here i p is there here here and here s means 1 2 3 3 i p s matching text are there in this paragraph then u means it is selecting this and if i change this to d o then only one match is there isn't it so let me explain it once again it is a bit confusing what we have done here is we are calling a function on the key up of the text box that is why without even clicking any button as and when the value is changed the function is getting called so that is why we have written our code on the key up event now within this function we collect the text value that is the value entered by the user inside this text box now we need to do this only if something is entered inside the text box isn't it otherwise we don't 
need to highlight anything. That is why we have written the code within if search text. That is only if search text exists, we will do this part. Now, we have collected the content within the paragraph using text method and we have collected it in the content variable. Now, as we are planning to do a case insensitive search, we have used a regular expression and we have specified the first parameter is the search text that is the value entered inside the text box and we have specified two modifiers they are i and g i is for case insensitive search and g is for global search that is we need to find all the matches if we do not specify this g what will happen i will show you if you specify l it will stop the search once it found the first match here even though there are many more l characters it stops as we we are not specifying g here so g is for global search next we are using the match method to find all the matches and if there is at least one match then only we should do the highlighting section isn't it so we are checking if matches that is if there is at least one match then what we are doing we are planning to add a class that is named highlight and we need to have some element to add the class right that is why we are enclosing our matching item within this span here so we are replacing the html of the paragraph using the replace method so here content dot replace means it will replace each search expression with the value returned by this function that is this value which means the search expression will be if you want i will show you the search expression refresh l see the search expression is slash l slash gi so this should be replaced with this value that is we need to highlight that particular section that is why we are enclosing the matching item within a span element having class name highlight now we need to implement a small functionality also i will show you why you need that suppose i enter l okay it is displaying the alert o it is displaying the output correctly isn't it r now also it is displaying it correctly suppose i remove one by one now it is displaying correctly now also it is displaying correctly suppose i remove this l as well see now the highlighted items are displayed as such in fact no letter should be highlighted because this text box is now empty still it is not removing the highlight so what should we do in this else part that is if no text is there that is search text is empty in that case what should we do we need to write else we need to remove the class highlight so dollar dot highlight means it will select all the elements with class name highlight then we can remove the class using remove class method which class should be removed it should be highlight itself that is the highlight class should be removed if there is no text inside the text box similarly here as well we need to write this code because i will show you that case as well let me remove this alert because it is displaying each time let me refresh let me type l okay o r now let me remove one by one okay even now it is not removing the highlight what is the mistake okay here we should not specify dot it should be the class name only refresh l o r remove 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 yes it is working fine now suppose i specified l o r e m p see there is no matching element actually l o r e m p still it is not removing the highlight so 
we need to copy this and paste it after this if condition that is if there is no match then as well the existing highlight should be removed okay now let's check l o r l o r e m see it is now highlighting let me put a p see the highlight is removed so with this the code is complete so this way we have implemented the search functionality using jquery and we have also highlighted the matching text